Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, sorry for the just woken up voice, but I couldn't wait to check out the update and share it with you guys because I'm also going to be buying my heroic egg in this video. Uh, let's check out this uh, blessing pack first. So it is Astro Gems. Um, 990 though. If you buy five, you do get a gleam. So that's definitely something to consider. Um, I don't really care about the light dark egg, but now it's too expensive for a farmable mon, so I think I'm going to stay away from that. But we also have the crystal shop here, so we can go ahead and uh, get this mini Sierra to start. Kabing, kabong, kablip. So yeah, they are natural four stars, that's cool. Yep, battle rush and elemental edge. A commenter told me that, and now it's definitely confirmed. So we're going to be moving on to 365 energy. Does that go straight into my... Yeah, it does. Okay, well, now I feel uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and go for the light dark egg. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough to get the heroic egg as well as, but, um, so no nat for light dark as always a Cosmo. Thank you. I think we'll have like barely enough to get the legendary and the heroic. So here's the legendary four star, no five star, but we will be getting a five star immediately after. I don't need you Loki. God, go away. So yeah, we barely have enough to get the hero gig, so, um, god, what do I want? A Shiva, another Valk, so I don't have to fuse my light Valk. Also, there was something interesting, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Right now we're going to enjoy this moment here. Nightmare, my fifth nightmare now, really? <laughs> and another fire one. So I have three fire and two wood now, and I kind of want the water more. Uh, okay, that was kind of useless, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Well, I am gonna complain a little bit because Magicka got a freaking Water Indra out of his. Why can't I have a Water Indra? No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so yeah. Right, what I was trying to say before is, uh, we gotta get the correct loading screen here. <sighs> Looks like it doesn't want to show up again. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna pause it. Looks like we'll eventually get a Heroes contract for natural 5-star light Astromons. Um... Odin, Valk, and Arthur, was it? Yeah, because I can't see it anymore. This is, like, really cool on one hand, I guess, but also it's kind of like, god damn it, now my light Valkyrie doesn't even have the special factor that it had before, because everyone can have one now, if they so choose. On the other hand, it makes my choice easier as to which one I'm going to get, because I have light Valk already, I don't need her, I don't need another one. Um, but on the other hand, Light Arthur and Light Odin aren't really interesting, in my opinion. I don't really feel like I want them or need them. Like, uh, Arthur, I like Water Arthur the most, um, and Odin, Fire. So when I first saw the image, I was like, holy crap, Nat 5 Light Astromons for a Heroes Contract. That's freaking awesome. But then when I actually saw them, looked at their skills, I was like, eh, you know. I mean, Odin is probably the best one, because at least, you know, she got some saps in there. If you don't have many CC mons, then Arthur is also good. Valk, I hate to say, is probably one of the... Well, she does have Predator. If you're building her for damage, then, then Predator can be pretty awesome. But yeah, whatever. Just thought I'd share that, because I saw it on the loading screen. Probably everyone else has as well, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Shared my opinions on it also, at least. Uh, it looks like they'll also be having a uh, new event. It's okay to fail when with Mini Sierra event. <laughs> uh, gym, oh god, gym upgrades. If you fail, you get two points. Okay, yeah, we've already experienced a similar thing. Uh, and we get some cool rewards, Mini Sierra Soul Stones. So I guess while we're here, we're going to do a quick review of the Pixies. It's probably not necessary because I think they're both the same. And it's pretty obvious which one is better. So here we have uh, Sierra the Guide. She is an attacker. Checking out her stats. Uh, I think that's pretty low HP, even for an attacker. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, so pretty decent stats. Basically what, what you'd expect out of an attacker. We have Battle Rush and Elemental Edge. Uh, Battle Rush is a pretty powerful skill. Um, and the Dark one is actually the same. But the Dark one has 100% crit damage. So, of course, it's going to be better. If yours has a square. Uh, that's kind of the bad thing. So, like, if you fuse for them and it doesn't have a square, you're kind of you're kind of screwed. I would probably raise them both just for Astro Guide rewards. But Dark one first. There's honestly not too much to say here. They're they're good Astromons, you know. Battle Rush is always nice. Elemental Edge do a, do a nice bit of extra damage there. They're actually quite phenomenal. Like, they're almost quite curious now about, like, Dark Mona's stats, because I have Dark Mona, I use her pretty much everywhere, and if uh, they have comparable stats, then I would say Sierra, uh, the Dark Sierra is even better because of Battle Rush. I know it's 10% less, but... 
Whoa, 28, so 3200 attack, 2800 HP. We have 3400 attack and 2300 defense. I think Mona only had 18 or, or 1900 defense. And uh, very good stats, very good stats indeed. That's actually quite strange. I mean, like, even the stat totals are completely higher on the Mini Sierra. So her attack, defense, and recovery add up to 7259. Damn, and hers are almost 8300. That is a thousand more total stat points while only having about 4k less HP. I'm not sure if it's like 10 HP equals one of these other stats down here. So like in in relation sort of. So if that is the case, which I assume it is, it looks like if you just knocked off the six down there from HP, it would look like a pretty normal HP stat um, compared to attack, defense, and recovery. And if that is the case, she still has like 600 more total stat stuff altogether. Of course, 400 of that is in recovery. Mona down here only has 2,000, whereas the one up there has 2,400. But also, way more defense, a bit more attack, and just a little bit less HP. So extremely good stats, not just... Well, distributed, they're not really that great because of so much recovery, but just in general, they're just very high stats for a natural 4-star. Looks like more uh, natural 5-star stats. So yeah, you should definitely try your hardest to go get one. Um, I have a EXP boost here for, t for like 20 minutes left or something. I didn't get to take advantage of that, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to be running some whatever. I have like... Wukong to raise one more level gonna go on normal though just so it's faster we get more chances to run into Sierra and I'm uh, gonna drink the rest of my coffee and wake up and yeah I guess I'll get back to you guys later actually I'm not sure if there's anything else to really talk about about this update or whatnot I don't know maybe next Sierra's festival we'll see but for now that'll be it make sure to drop a comment down below telling me what you think about the Sierras if you're going for them if you're going to ignore them uh, if you're at least going to be running the Guardian Dungeons, that's something I also should have checked, Guardian Dungeons, but whatever. Uh, you know what Guardian Dungeons are. Dropping a like would be greatly appreciated if you did enjoy. Also, if you enjoyed, you can also hit that subscribe button, the big, nice, red square. Thanks, guys, as always, for watching, and until next time.